hi guys welcome to my channel this is Pauline study here again so today i'm going to be doing a house recipe of um rice water for hair those who want to grow their hair those who want to um increase its thickness so i'm going to be doing this very nice rice water um uh, recipe and most of these things some people really leave them out so i'm going to be using the onion ginger and the rice so right now i'm going to be washing the rice i'm going to wash the rice thoroughly well and please do make sure that your rice is sorted that is what i'm trying to see right now please make sure your rice is sorted so i'm going to pour in a full glass of water so that i'm able to wash it make i'll make sure that i rub it together i wash it so well so that all the dust gets out all the the crystals that were there get out so this is what i'm doing right now i'm going to make sure that it is extremely clean so i'll be washing it two times yeah and both times i'll be putting in a full cup of water so as you can see i'm done washing my rice and it's super clean yeah so i'm going to add a full glass of water that i'll be using to soak this rice i'm going to soak it for 36 hours that is um 24 hours plus two more hours so i'll be removing it uh, a day after tomorrow in the morning so i'm going to be adding ginger ginger whatever the word is and onion once i'm done soaking this rice for 36 hours so now I'm going to be uh, checking out on this rice after 36 hours. So I'm going to be stirring in the rice so that the nutrients that were soaked out can get into the water because there is a lot of silt, should I say, when you soak something for a long time, it's the water on top, there is silt and then the water on top. So I've mixed up. So I'm going to pour into the other dish. I'm going to pour out the water and then I'll get rid of the rice because I cannot cook this rice. People, don't eat this rice if it spends more than six hours in the water. Please don't. Just dispose it. That is why it's always advisable use the rice that's going to be enough. In my case, I used half a glass of, of rice, which is very okay. So I'm draining out the 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 rice water so i smelt on it and it wasn't smelling well so trust me eating it is not the best thing to do for it yeah so that is how the water looks like it should be milky kind of what yeah so i'm going to be putting in this onion and uh, and ginger so this onion some people prefer to blend the onion juice and the ginger juice and mix it in this rice water for me because i'm very lazy to blend and also because i feel like i should rather boil the nutrients into the rice water and the rice water is really nice when you boil it because the other nutrients that are as as if um uh i don't know how to explain it but they're a bit slimy something like that they get boiled into the water which is very nice so i'm adding the onions i'm also going to add the ginger so that i boil them together and then it will be very nice rice water for my hair growth because I want to grow my hair, guys. Yeah. So it will be working. I'll be doing that for a week. So let's watch in and see how this is done. Please do endeavor to put in what is enough for the rice water. Don't put extra, extra of everything. Don't put too much of everything. That's why I cut the ginger halfway and put in a little and also put in the big half of the onion. So I'm stirring my uh, onions and ginger into the water very well. So um, I'm just going to bring them a bit closer to the camera so that you guys can see. Yeah, so I've I mixed everything in there and I've put it on a boiler let it boil for about 10 to 30 minutes so that the water can look like that very um purplish creamish that's kind of color the color of the onion and the ginger so i'm going to let it to cool for some time and then after it has cooled i'm going to pour it into the other bowl 
and then i'll be able to like pour it into the bottle yeah so the the water is now uh, cool you can see its color its color is no longer the white that we had at the beginning no and that's the color of, that should be your rice water and like when you put in the juice without boiling the color is a bit uh, thicker than this the color is about a bit thicker than this so mine i bought so now i'm going to put uh, i hope you can see the color it's the color of the boiled onion with some ginger in it so it's not exactly white so i'm going to just remove the small infiltrate then i'll put it in my bottle that i'll be using so i'm going to be using that coconut oil bottle my coconut oil got done but then i left in a little bit of coconut oil because i want to mix it um with the rice water but this is completely optional it is completely optional that you only use rice water without any other oil in it or rice water alone plus if you know you're not going to like the scent of this you can add in a little perfume it's not going to do any effect in terms of the nutrients and all that kind of stuff why i put in coconut oil is to add in some protein because coconut oil is nice for protecting the hair and all that kind of stuff so i'm gonna be showing you how you can apply this coconut oil onto your scalp onto the hair i mean pardon me guys i'm sorry it's the rice water yes yeah, so i'm going to be showing you how you can put it on your scalp you can see i'll put it from the roots from your scalp to the hair strand so that your hair goes in length and from the roots and also so that from the roots it's very thick okay make sure that you um massage it into the hair and and the scalp so it doesn't remain standing on top yeah so i'm also putting on the hair strand so that it can be effective so i'm going to be putting on my forehead because i need my forehead to go back to being very very healthy and yeah you also have to emphasize on why your hair is not really thick and why it's not really growing so that your hair can grow so i would advise people who don't want to spend a lot of money on castor oil and black seed oil to use this kind of remedy for their hair growth so guys Please, if you like this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up. See you next time. Love ya. Mwah.